you won't be able to see my face <laughs> until we get a new update that you can see a little, you know, come around the edge of my screen. But hi, good evening from London. It's 8.45 p.m. in London. Uh, welcome to my stream. Uh, this is Bobby Becker. Hi, Robert. Welcome, welcome. And uh, I'm an artist based in London, originally from Albania. I am a live streamer also on Periscope. I've been streaming for last five years but tonight I will be on Periscope so hello Periscope I'm streaming on YouTube hello people on YouTube if you're watching from there but I'm streaming from Hubs TV and I'm really excited because today they just launched the landscape mode screen so I thought I am going to test it and I'm going to treat you guys to a little bit of Mix Media, Mix Media 101. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. So, yeah, as you come in, please do share and invite your followers. That would be amazing. I'm go oh, wow. I am um, on Periscope. I am on two uh, screens, apparently. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, so it looks good on Periscope. So, hi, guys. Hi, Rodi. I can see you there on Periscope. So, uh, I don't see many comments uh, on the hops up. Uh, I don't know. Is the connection really good, guys? Let me know if the connection is okay so I can continue and uh, get on with this broadcast. So today I thought I'm going to do uh, something awesome, a bit of mixed media. Uh, mixed media are amazing amazing paints okay they are beautiful paints by pebio uh and uh, i've been painting with them for quite a while i was um um pebio ambassador as well they found me through my channel and i got loads of freebies ages ago now not now not now because i have still plenty but um yeah it's been an amazing journey and i've been painting with them for a long time so what is mixed media mixed media i have you have all kinds well pretty much four you got ceramics so what is on the range you got vitriol okay fantasy i'm trying to find clear ones because i have some of them prism and let me find a fantasy moon in here somewhere moon is there a moon uh-huh oh there is a moon and fantasy moon so in the range uh, this is what we have hello william hi will how are you welcome welcome uh so these are on the range of uh, the mixed media and it's nothing like these paints on the market. Only Pebio does this mixed media. So what you could do, you can paint separately with these paints. So vitriol is glass paint, which there is a glass painting here that I have done. But I've done a mixture. I've done a bit of um, ceramic. So you can mix them together to create amazing effects. Or on their own hello my dear lumpy how are you so this say like this one is a mirror i've been painting i did a little flower design is really pretty and uh yeah this is just glass paint uh hence why you can see is a little bit clearer in here it's not too opaque so the glass paints are not that opaque they are more transparent while the ceramic paints right are heavier paints and they are opaque so say if you are mixing them together you will see more of the ceramic because it's heavy and it will sit on top while the vitriol is more uh, transparent paint while prism it has this beautiful honeycomb effect a, a beautiful beautiful effect and when they mixed all together fantasy prism with a bit of vitriol and fa fantasy moon as the name suggests it gives this effect of like the moon landing hello uh rocklo hi hi oh hello again how are you namaste namaste so yeah so you can mix all of them together i'm going to bring my you know samples that i have put here together so i have mixed some together 
this is light and medium now what you do if you mix in all these paints together yeah you must put three parts of light and medium and one part of the paint and uh, that will create the mixture good to, for your painting ready for your painting so you need three parts of the light and medium okay this is ceramics and as you can see ceramics is a more opaque and this is vitriol uh, this is fantasy prism i don't know if you can, guys can see i'm bringing it all the way up close uh, and this is fantasy moon now i mix like a little bit of uh, both of them light in medium with ceramic i have light in medium with vitriol light in medium with prism so this is the effect it creates and i have light in medium with moon the same thing a little bit of prism and moon in here so you can see probably on my heart a little bit better this is I, i've done it in two so one is in black background and one is in white so you can see the difference and if it has any difference uh, is small screen is small on periscope it's not small because i saw it on periscope and it's big tony what do you mean small i should be landscape it shouldn't be small because i am landscape i can see it on periscope and it's landscape i don't know why you see it small so it's kind of the this is the effect it creates in a black canvas right and this is the effect you'll get i did the same kind of colors but on a black canvas okay so that is it uh, i've started one here on periscope just to see to, to show the effect this is a little bit of fantasy uh moon in there uh, but i haven't finished that way the one i i'm gonna show you a few here this is uh, a little bit of um, gold in there this is uh, fantasy moon and just ceramic some ceramic paints and create like a tile uh, which is awesome oh landscape oh, okay sorry then <laughs> it's landscape yeah okay uh and here we go this is just samples that i show the effect that you get with the fantasy moon and prism and there is another one now this looks like tiles i love them because you can use them as coasters so say you're making your coffee you want like little coaster what i do i have this small little canvases and boom you can put your coffee there so you got a little bespoke coaster in there these are great uh so yeah or you can do a bunch of them okay and then glue them together on a table and make a table out of that uh, maybe you can do designs of places you visited or uh, some kind of mosaic uh so it'll be cool i i think and this was the glass painting that i have done so this is just with a vitriol uh, and here are some little paintings that i brought uh, i have them here just when i show as samples uh, so look at the beautiful gorgeous effect when the colors just go in together interacting look at that that is gorgeous i love that hello from louisville oh hello eric and there is another one these are this is on wood now the good thing is that you can use them uh on wood you can use them on glass porcelain you can use them on canvas it's just great uh how beautiful is that do you see the effect i mean i know that my lighting is there you can see the ring light a little bit i'm sorry i have two ring lights in both sides of my uh table uh and there is another one okay now this has a little bit of cern relief now i'm going to talk to you all about what products you will need when you're doing a bit of uh, mixed media okay 
And these ones I love. These are so simple yet so effective and beautiful. We did this uh, broadcast, we did this live on Periscope uh, some time ago. And it was, I think it was last fall to be honest. And I just did some with leaves, kind of create like a stained glass effect. Uh, these are canvases. These are canvases small canvases and all i did is put some leaves and if you were to put to to kind of make lots of them you can uh, like put them together to mix i don't know kind of um, uh, make like a wall out of them i don't know but uh yeah these are um, a little bit of ceramic and um, in some areas so this one is a little bit of ceramic and in some of them is just um, vitriol, which is glass paint. And it looks like a stained glass, doesn't it? So beautiful. Yeah, I love them. Then this green one, I think Lumpy asked, can you do a green one? <laughs> Lumpy, you remember? <laughs> there we go. So um, we got that. Now we have some more uh here if you see the silver this is certain relief that i use now you need the outliner to contain the paint inside which you'll see in a minute how i'm gonna do it and i've done oh no this one of us i, I did because lumpy asked yeah there you go yes long time ago yes indeed it was there you go and a green one so it's just organic kind of shapes you don't have to go crazy and uh, i don't know make what have you so now things you might need while you're doing um i'm gonna show you some more so this is painting now this is called control painting while some of them are just loose uh, you just kind of mix the paints together, tip over the your little glass and it's poured in. This is more controlled. So this is, I kind of outline my uh, flower with transparent uh, serve relief and then I painted the flower and inside, yeah, it has a little bit of 3D effect. It's uh, so it's really pretty. I love this. I love this sunflower. So this is mixed media and Also, this one is mixed media as you can see both these flowers are with mixed media So I've done them uh, with vitriol and a little bit of ceramic probably down here Well, not probably but yes, so both flowers are mixed media and they are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't, I don't know if you can see the effects, but yeah. And this one. Now, this technique is like pouring, you know, like when people pour media, pouring media. But is the pouring is done with mixed media. I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see. I don't know. You can see the, you see the ring lights. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah. I'm going to tip it over a little bit, but it's like the ocean waves and coming in. It's really pretty, but this is the technique is more like pouring, not controlled like the flowers are. There we go. So that is great. Oh, you guys are all here. There we go. So once you're here, and um, you enjoying uh, my broadcast, uh, my art tutorial that I'm gonna go and tell you all about it. Uh, to support this channel, you can click the little awards and you can give me awards is uh, to support, to say thank you and support in this channel, yeah? I had to get that out of the way. So in this, uh, pick yourselves little work boxes and uh, it tells you all about um, the paints and what they do and how to use them. They have little booklets. In the one for Seta Color, some of my artwork is there as well. I did a necklace as well. You can use the Fantasy Prism is amazing and Fantasy Moon. Uh, they are amazing for jewelry. So a lot of jewelers 
if you love jewelry and you'd like to try making some that's what you could use this mixed media okay uh they are amazing and any glass painting there we go um here and on periscope i don't know you guys have many many um phones i think i don't know how you guys are in many places at the same time so yeah fantasy moon fantasy prism you got all of that you can find them even on pbia.com you can find so what else you might need first of all a piece of uh, paper or i don't know get a cloth an old cloth to clean your hands so if you're painting with brushes you can have an old brush or a brush that you're not going to use again grab a brush uh, if you're doing controlled painting uh to to paint with you will need let me just uh, get one brush in here yeah so you will need maybe some cups i have bought them i don't know from a party shop these are little shop glasses so i use them uh if i am mixing two colors together uh this is great um glasses to have they are not too big they are very tiny like shot glasses but you can mix two colors together to create another color so i keep them uh, if you do importing then you can have like a bigger cup like the i don't have um the paper cups here upstairs at the moment because i'm not going to do pouring but yeah uh, you can have paper cups that are bigger uh, I don't like to be wasteful of my paints anyhow uh, now other things i keep uh, a little i've gotten this from my sister she, well i i took few of those a syringe uh <laughs> she's a doctor but i take taken a lot of them from her actually because now what you need you need the you see this gold and silver and black outliner in here? Oh, maybe I should show you on the white. So you see this outliner here? Now this outliner is a 3D paint, is called CERN Relief. Now this outliner, is it contains the paint inside so if you're doing control painting not the pouring because pouring you do not really need to control it you can just tip it or let the paint interact and create magic but if you're doing control painting that you want to contain like uh you know uh, the paint like here for example uh in certain areas because i want it to have all the petals uh separated and the paint going on each petal uh so yeah these are more like control painting with certain relief so they have gold uh not this one see that color is for fabric let me put this here so this is certain relief so this is the outliner they have white gold clear uh, and i like the clear silver they have all kind of colors and i finished the black i don't know why uh, so yeah, this is what you need. Now, the other thing you might need, you might, you will need, you will need some turpentine or something to clean your hands, or if you make any mistakes, uh, <laughs> yes, indeed, uh, if you make any mistakes, some um, odorless uh, mineral spirit to clean your hands, or brushes, what have you, you need some of that, or turpentine, whatever other things you might need this is dirty but it doesn't matter because it works and i don't like wasting i have all of them are dirty with paint it's like a little pipette i probably have a clean one i don't know uh, yeah there we go i have a few pipettes oh something is inside my pipette okay let me see so i'm grabbing some more of this so you need a pipette I don't know, it's something inside there. So yeah, pipette to drop in paints if you're doing control painting. These are very handy uh, to have. And uh, other things you might need. Every time you go to Starbucks to get your coffees, I suggest you take them sticks, don't waste them. <laughs> Put them in the pocket and save them, okay? Or you can just buy some sticks at the pound store. But yeah, no i'm on the cheap me i just get them so i get this longer ones and then i can just 
go in half so i have many sticks in here because now this is a tip i've learned at the factory of pebio factory in marseille in france because uh, usually you just go and you shake your paint but i was told do not shake your paint always just stir so that was a tip uh, that i learned and i'm like oh that is good tip to know because we we were all shaking uh so yeah and then i got the the sticks and i always stir now well sometimes when i forget i don't stir but hey <laughs> so pretty much that is that uh, in terms of what you need what you might need so paints uh, you can get a few to experiment with. They are great. They are beautiful. I mean, uh, I just love mixed media. Easy to use. You do not need to be an artist to use the mixed media whatsoever. And uh, you can just create beautiful, like, little paintings. Now, I saw that painting that I started that I never finished. I could do that. Do you guys fancy? I kind of finished this one. So you can you can see how it all goes. This is like a plank of wood, to be honest. Or shall I just do a little small um, one in here, and you can see? Hold on. Oh, I have my music here, don't I? The music. Oh, whoa! That I have uh, done myself. This is Bobby Baker music. I am a DJ as well. I'm joking. I'm not a DJ, but you know what? I had to do my own music to make my own music for my live streaming. Is it on? Yeah, very very gentle. A little bit of a background music. Uh, okay, are we here? Yes, we are here. Okay, so now I am thinking of we doing a little bit, I don't know, maybe or um, kind of an autumn scene. That would be good. A little autumn scene. What do you guys think? Yes, no? Or shall I continue the other one that I've, did, uh, that I've done? Hmm. I think I probably could go with a autumn scene. Yeah, it will be like kind of easy peasy. Uh, let's let's go. Okay, I have my phone here. Okay, so I have all the colors that i need in here i have a little canvas so this could be like as a little um, postcard if it comes really good so what i'm going to do because i want some trees right i am going to contain some maybe i i do like a little drawing of what i might kind of uh, want to do um maybe kind of go like that right okay there we go and i can go here little one here just some like little lines okay and i can continue maybe just a bigger one here okay i will do this uh once i'm finished I'm gonna be done again anyway so um this is gonna be cute there we go maybe coming that way now here i'm going to have my horizon 
right? So maybe here I add a little bit of green in here to give a little bit of a, you know, different effects. And here I'm going to do some bushes. Just a little sketch. And then maybe I'm going to continue this road kind of this way. Yeah, that would be good. So there you go. I got my little sketch of what I want to do. And, um, oh, thank you, Eric. <laughs> what, Eric? Uh, uh, can you show the blue tile again? Blue tile. My blue tile? Blue tile? Which one was the blue tile? You mean, I don't know. Which one? I don't have a blue. You mean my painting? You mean my mixed media? This is huge painting. This is a big painting. <laughs> this is not a tile. This is a big painting. You mean this one? This is the only one that is the blue one. There you go. Uh, hold on. If I turn the light off in this side, maybe you'll be able to see better. Let me see. Can you see better now? I just turned the light in one side off. Autumn is good. Yeah. Autumn would be amazing, isn't it? I don't know which one else. Uh, um, okay. There we go. Let me turn the camera back on. The light back on. So, here we go. Now, I don't think I can zoom too much. Oh, yes, I can zoom too much. Couldn't I? Can I? Will this zoom? Let's see. Because the other day, when I clicked it, it zoomed. Is this a bit more zoomed, guys? Can you see it more zoomed? I think you can. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm getting my CERN relief. Okay. I'm going to squeeze this down and I'm just going to put a little bit of an outline on the trees I'm going to prepare a bit of paper I have a bit of paper here so I can clear the tip now why I have this because I was telling you earlier sometimes the nozzle of the CERN relief gets blocked and make sure you always clean every time you use it clean the top so it doesn't get blocked because it's like th thick paint right it's 3d paint and when it dries it dries hard like a rock uh, so yeah you just open it i just squeeze a little bit out so i know it's working okay it's working because i have cleaned the nozzle the first the last time but if it gets blocked all i do i take my needle and i just stick it in okay so now i am going to go and um, get a little bit can you hear the music and just put a few like little i don't know maybe kind of here okay the tree now also it takes a while don't get too frustrated if um if you don't do kind of um at, on first time if you don't the lines are not like that awesome because sometimes like your lines will get a bit like but I don't have to do too much in here because um, they will be clumped, yeah? So don't get frustrated. It takes a while to get like a smooth line that is not clumped. Okay, so I'm just putting a few trees in here and I'm going like, there we go. And I'm going to go one here. And one kind of closer one. So as I'm going in, they come in like closer to each other. And a little bit here. Okay. 
There we go. Oops. Now you get some air bubbles there as well. So when that happens, just continue um, and squeeze the paint out a little bit. So you have it. There we go. I twist this. So I have more control now. And I'm going to go here. Now when this dries, this is going to be transparent. So you won't even be able to see this, but it will do its job and uh, it will contain my paint. Um, there we go. One kind of longer here. There we go. Cool. Now I'm just going to kind of add a few little lines in here. Uh, maybe kind of go this way because I need. There we go. Maybe back here. And I go here. And a little bit kind of here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one gonna have a little branch right in here. And I continue. I'll just add a few branches here and there. And I continue this way. This is my 3D little paint. And then I'm just going to pour some paint in all the areas that I want. Okay. But some of it is going to stand like 3D for me. So when I pour the black, I will be able to see where my trees are, which would be great. For me. There we go. So, all done. You finished with the sun relief. You go like that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of sun relief here. Because I want to put some green. And I want to contain this. Okay. So, and also, I want some here. Containing this baby in here, and I need the horizon. There is my horizon, and here I got the bush, some bushes. Great, so uh, in here, good. So I clean that. All you do now, you put the top on uh, so the paint does not get hard. Always keep that on. There we go. So I'm going to bring this very close so you guys can see what it looks like. So step one, turn relief, right? Now we do need a little bit of time for this to dry. Uh, and this is very important for you to keep in mind because if you put the paint right now when the turn relief is wet, now the paint it's going to muddle up and uh, that will separate so your paint will seep through i have tri it's tried and tested and i've made the errors so now i tell you not to make the same error but what i'm going to do however the certain relief dries very very fast just to let you know it's not like forever waiting forever but what I'm going to do, I'm going to help it out since we are on a live stream. I'm going to use my hot air gun and I'm just going to go like that.
Wow, it's drying already. I'm sorry about the noise, guys. I just want this dry really quick. If you're watching from Hubs, uh, you can click on the words to support my channel and uh, myself, the content creator. <laughs> if you are on Periscope, you can click on the super hearts. Or you can buy a coffee from uh, Periscope. You can go to uh, buymeacoffee.com slash bobvika and you can purchase a coffee. And uh, if you are on Hubs, it's straight on the app. You can uh, just click buy a coffee. And this that would be amazing. And I will give you a big shout out on my next stream. Now, I'm not going to need this at the time because I don't. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to continue with the painting. This is dry to the touch. Yeah. I am not going to touch too much. But yeah, when I touch it, it's dry. So I know that the paint is going to stay there. It's not going to, you know, run off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from above. And I'm going to probably get some uh, gold first. I'm grabbing some gold. Uh, I do need some paper here. Okay. I'm going to grab some gold and uh, just mix some gold in here. I need some yellow, gold, oranges, reds, and what have you. And uh, just drop a little, you know, bits in there to make it pretty. Okay, there we go. So this is just prism, fantasy prism. So I'm gonna grab some fantasy prism. Now I could do it with pipette or with my stick. Satisfying, that's awesome to hear. <laughs> so where are you guys watching from? So I'm going to grab this gold and I'm going to put kind of here a little bit. Okay. On the background, because I need some, like the bushes in here. Okay. So I'm going to do this layer, the bushes layer. Now it's no problem if it goes over my, um, 3D paint because when this settles, I would still be able to see it, right? So it's no problem for me. So these bushes could be a bit of gold in here, golden bushes, eh? Okay, there we go. That would be cute. So now I'm going to continue and I'm going to just add a few gold like right in here. I'm not going to go crazy like, you know, uh, with details and stuff. It's just going to be very organic. And maybe some of them kind of fallen right in here, leaves and stuff. Okay, so then I'm going to continue like here a little bit. Uh, here and there, some golden. It's going to be pretty, don't worry. So I want to show, I'm making something very simple so to show you guys so how easy it is. And anybody can do mixed media, you know. You don't need to be a pro artist to create, like, pretty art. Okay? You can just... So this is Fantasy Moon. And maybe just here. Just bring it up a little bit. Okay, so now that I have this, the gold, I'm gonna close the gold a little bit. Oh, you're watching from Periscope. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some yellow, but my yellow is a ceramic paint. Okay, so here and there, I'm gonna drop in some uh, ceramic. So I'm going to grab the same stick. I cleaned it in this side and I'm going to mix it. Okay. 
Now I'm going to leave my stick here and for this I'm going to grab one of my pipettes. Is there something in my pipette or is it my imagination? It is, it feels like it's something in there. Okay, so I have my paint in here and I'm going to go like this. And they're going to mix together too, you know. And right on top here, I'm going to add a few with a gold so they can mix together, you know. And here I'm going to put a brown and maybe just a line of kind of your little leaves in here. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to continue, just add a few yellows in there. Okay. And on top of this, the highlight is going to be yellow. There we go. And a bit more. Mm -hmm. There we go. So it's here. Three. Three. A bit here more. There we go, a bit of yellow. I know, it doesn't look much at the moment, but once you add all of that, uh, it's going to become very, very pretty. Now, what else I might need? Now, I need uh, this kind of... Uh, 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 number 17 is like terracotta. It's very pretty. And I'm going to grab some of these babies. I'm going to mix it. It's hard to see. Can you zoom? Ah, this is as much zoom as it is, to be honest. Ha. Huh. Only unless I bring it all the way up, it doesn't zoom anymore because it's landscape. If I click this, it will just unzoom it and make it even further, doesn't it? This is even more unzoomed. Hold on. When I click this, it's kind of zoomed. Okay, I'll keep it in my hand, shall I? <laughs> I? I shall keep it in my hand and work for my hand. Okay, so now I took a little bit of terracotta and I'm going to add a tiny bit right at the end in this area here for the ground. I'm going to add some brown too, but... Now this stick I see is a little bit thicker, so I'm going to grab my yellow stick, because it's a bit smaller. You guys see? Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to continue and add some little um, dots here and there. right there so it's going to create those leaves okay now don't worry much as i said still how it looks because we are going to create all the branches as we go along at the moment we're just adding some leaves we're kind of working backwards okay if i wanted some sky I could add some blue, but it's not that necessary at the moment. And I'm going to go here, maybe, because I'm going to add some orange, little leaves and reds. Okay, so I'm done there. Now here I need some darker leaves, because this is um, going to be my foreground. Okay, so there we go. And uh, now, after I'm done with this, maybe at the edge, we got some leaves in here, and we're going to continue. Okay, so, sorry, I have to put that down for the time being. Uh, I'm going to put some darker ones right in here, because they have fallen right in there. They're going to intertwine, it's going to like um, mix together as well, so don't worry about that. It's more of a pretty. Okay. Okay. I'm 
just working with the stick you can at this point you can even take a brush if you want some different like um, effects or if you want to add like some leaves uh shapes and stuff okay so at the moment i'm just doing the you know not the leaf uh and uh, yeah i am going to grab this paper and clean this table in here because i don't want that brown to be there okay so what i'm going to do now i need my black i need my black because i want to add some uh of my pretty little Oh no, I'm gonna get some orange first. Let me get an orange. Where's my orange? Cha -cha -cha. This is more like red. Oh, there is my orange. Oh, I can't even open it. Okay. Uh, it's here. There we go. Some of them get very, very difficult to open. And I'm gonna get my stick. I'm gonna just add a few little drops in there. So I need a bit of red in there too. Okay. Maybe. Okay, red, red, red. Just pouring some red in here. So at this point it doesn't matter about the black. Because as I said, we're going to add the black. And I can see where my black goes anyway. Okay, so just little dots here and there. It's gonna come together once we get the black as well, which I might add right now, to be honest. <laughs> this would be a good timing for a little bit of black. I'm gonna get another pipette and I'm gonna get some black. Get another stick and mix my black in here. Okay, my black is mixed. So. So now I have to be very careful when I add the black because I want the black to just go here and to stay inside my, you know, lines. Okay, there we go. One. You see that? It's coming together now. And another tree right in here, too strong. Make some more block. You don't have to connect them all, you know. Some of them can be connected, some of them like just showing through the leaves. Yeah. Well, maybe one here. Uh, and I'm gonna go right in here, maybe put, put a little, uh, I have another tree right in here, and I can see another little tree right in here, okay, and maybe just put a little branch, uh, I'm not gonna show anything in this side, so now I'm gonna go here, and uh, not going to put too much of the black, but just a few little lines here and there, right? Maybe just a little line there showing. And there is another tree. Maybe here, showing through my, um, you know, bushes. Through the lines, I have one here. There we go. Okay, because I have some 3D lines in there that I could follow, right? Now, I don't know, what do I put? Do I put like a road or do I put like a stream in there um, in the middle? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. There we go. Uh, maybe a line here. Here. Yeah, you don't have to show everything together anyway. Maybe here a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Wow, oh, thank you, Drew. Oh, hi, guys. Oh my God, I wasn't even reading comments. Thank you. Hold on, I missed comments. Hello, Brett, how are you? Welcome. Uh, hi, high five, thank you. Hi, Louise, welcome. Hi, hi, I love the music. Oh my God, Drew, I made it myself. I made it myself. And how old is your baby? I heard the baby cry. And congratulations, team, on the landscape. This is the first day, and I'm here to test the landscape mode. <laughs> I am testing the landscape mode. There we go. Oh, thank you so much for uh, the awards. So, yeah, for people just joining, let me do a little. Je uh, trouve. Oh, okay. We have a uh, French here. Oh, I didn't understand none of it, but bonsoir France, bonsoir, bienvenue. Uh, I am using uh, Pebio mixed media paint. Now I'm going to let this mingle a little bit. Now I don't know yet what I'm going to do at the end. Do I want a little bit of road uh, or do I want a little bit of... Uh, did you answer how old was the baby now drew probably has gone so i am using mixed media as i said i will let that just here for a minute uh, these are some of my mixed media paints these are samples and there is some little sample works this is on glass we've done this painting this is on glass right uh, I've done a little hummingbird on a passion flower. It looks really beautiful. It's like stained glass effect. And we have, these are just samples that I've done on my channel on Perry. And this is really cute. I just poured some paint uh, on a little canvas. And then I went only with the 3D paints and just made little markings. Uh, and yeah, that is that. These two canvases are, they look like um, stained glass effect as well. Uh, they are very, very pretty. I mean, you can make uh, maybe four of them, six of them, make a table. I don't know. Uh, they are very pretty. Or just hang them in a kitchen, in wherever you want. Uh, so yeah. And uh, there is another one here. Uh, these are controlled technique that you use with a CERN relief. This is the CERN relief. To put as an outliner is 3D paint. While if you just pour in, pour in technique is this one's, you just pour the paint and let it interact with each other and uh, it creates a gorgeous little effect. Now this is on wood, is not on canvas, the rest was on canvas. So I have just poured on wood and you do not need to put any kind of varnishes or anything. It's like varnished already. It's like resin that is, but you could add resin on top if you wish. Okay. So yeah, it's a lovely effect that it creates together, the paints mixing. And another little, like the, control technique is the flowers I have done uh, is in here they are here these are the flowers and for this also I have used a bit of uh, CERN re relief outliner on my leaves if you can see like close up like if I bring it close you'll see a bit of 3d effect with the CERN relief hi Bobby Hi, Louise. Uh, so many. Uh, so, yeah, this is the beautiful anemone flower. I did one yet the other day here. Uh, yesterday, was it? Uh, um, hops. And uh, this is a sunflower. And also, for this, I used transparent uh, sun relief. So, the one I'm using in this artwork. And, uh, yeah. And it has like the 3D effect. If you touch it, you can see, you can uh, yeah, feel it. Well, I can feel it. You can just see it. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much. 
uh, these are uh, the controlled little effect and then we have this one this is uh, big so you, you might see a little bit of my uh, you know this is pouring pouring medium well it's um mixed media but i have poured the paint and just tipped it over to create a little bit of like waves uh, effect in there just blues and white and uh, yeah it looks very very pretty what do you guys think i don't know how do i tip it so you don't see my ring lights do you see the effects yeah okay there you go if you have questions please do ask me also if you're using v trial you can uh, this is on a mirror this is glass on glass okay and uh, yeah it's very transparent the v trial paints uh, are transparent paints I will get a little bit of a canvas and I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit of a sampling. Or maybe I'll keep this here and I'll sample that as we go along. Okay, so as I'm here, because as I said, I'm going to pour some blue. Maybe not blue, blue, but let me see. This is more like green. I don't know. Let me see what paints I have here. Uh, if you can see what I do, I put a little. Um, letter in here i write on top c for ceramic v for vitriol m for moon fantasy moon and i put a p where's the p's where's the p oh i don't know where is the p oh there is a p uh, for prism fantasy prism so i have vitriol ceramic <laughs> yeah Prism, vitral, ceramic, and where is the moon? I just put the moon back. There is the moon. But if you see, I put the letters in here. Because when you store them, you have to keep them like this. And it's easy for me to see. Uh, I am going to turn back a little bit and get a little bit of uh, blue. Oh, this. No, this is ceramic. I don't want ceramic. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I'm going to get a little bit of this, what's it guys, maybe I grab some prism, on the back, I have a lot of paints on the back guys, so I am looking for paints now, okay, so I'm going to grab some of this blue, and uh, let me just clean the stiff, and I'm going to put some blue in here, Prism, prism, <laughs> not prism, <laughs> no, no, it's prism. And fantasy prism, they are very, very good for jewelry, okay? Rings. You can add them on rings and uh, this is the guide that comes with the boxes. You can order like a little boxes and it tells you how to use it and everything. But I am showing to you right in here. So you get a little bit of the prism and I am going to just put tiny bit uh, on my, I don't know, road, water, whatever. Okay few right in here i don't know yet what this is road or water or uh, we let it like okay i'm gonna add some white as well well not pure white maybe okay i'm gonna go here You're going to see the effect in a minute when I pour the other paint. 
I'm not doing pouring. This is more like a control technique because I'm using the 3D outliner. So now what I'm going to do is add another color right in there. Not the white, but maybe something moon, a little bit of moon. So pretty much mixing tiny bit of this if I can open it. Okay. Okay, a few little drops. And I'm going to put a couple of lines of, uh, you know, ceramics and a couple of lines of different. You have to mix it really well because the agents that are binding in there um, have to mix to create the effect. Now, if you see here, the blue in here, ooh, oopsie daisy. <laughs> okay, that fell a little bit, but it's kind of starting now to work. Did you see that falling down? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I like, need a little drop in here. And I'm going to go like this. Just mix it a little bit like this. Okay. Did you see my painting fall over? That was fun. <laughs> oh dear. That was really funny. I did not want that to happen. Now what I'm going to get, I'm going to get a bit of ceramic here and there. I'm going to grab a little bit of ceramic and I'm going to mix this with a bit of white and here and there I'm going to add a little bit of this color. I'm going to get a little cup. There we go. Maybe this, a couple of drops of this. Okay, and I'm going to grab a couple of drops of the darker ceramic. Okay. Oh, I haven't mixed this one. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I'm going to grab some white ceramic to make very pale blue. Mix, 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 mix really, really well. Okay. So now I'm going to mix a third color. I don't know how blue this is going to be. What kind of blue? Maybe I want it a little bit lighter. I want very pale blue for the sky, probably. Just pour some here and there. Now you can let that dry, then pour on top and what have you, but hey, okay, that is a cute color. I'm gonna keep it like that. So I'm gonna take this. Now I have some little white lines right in here. Okay. Okay, that's better. Okay. 
Where's my green? Now I need some green. I'm gonna grab some green. I'm gonna add a little bit of a green here and there. So right in here, maybe a little bit of green grass to give a little bit of the, uh, you know, oomph to the painting. Hello, Turkey. Oh, I was looking at comments and I drop, uh, I dropped some paint in here. I put, I dropped some green. I was looking, Turkey. Hello, Turkey. <laughs> That's what happens. You either paint or they do comments. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I was like, merhaba turkey, and boom. But it doesn't matter because, you know, as I said. Okay, maybe right in here, I'm gonna add a few, like, little green, little dots, like leaves in, coming in. Mm -hmm. And the bushes in here. And right in here. And maybe I continue probably by the road, a few little green leaves. Continue in here. Um, maybe just in here, I'm coming to. And like an abstract kind of, you know, piece. You don't have to be too precise, you don't have to go like crazy with. Okay, so after we've done with that, I'm gonna get some orange. Where's my orange? This is cherry red. I am looking now. Now, this is orange. Now, this is vitriol, which is a glass paint. Uh, and I can hardly open it, but hey, it's fine. We will get there. I know it looks dark, but when it dries, it's all orange and pretty. You're probably not even going to see the full potential of this. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a brush. I'm gonna kind of just mix with a brush a little bit. Some of it is going to be more transparent and some of it is going to be like lighter. And I'm going to need the off. Um, there we go. That's pretty. There's my orange in here on top of this. I'm going to mix a few drops of orange with, a, with my uh, ceramic. Just put a few little drops. When it's dry, you can put more of uh, the tree trunks, you know, 
what I'm going to do here and there is like a little bit of sky showing here and there. I don't want much sky, but here and there I have a little bit of blue sky showing between the trees. Um, so it's a bit of abstract kind of a painting, isn't it? So in some areas I'm going to put some drops of this blue. So it's showing on my sky. Probably I'm going to bring this. There we go. And maybe a few little kind of sky bits in here. Uh, there we go. Some sky in here. That would be nice. Mm. I don't know, not sky there, but hey. Okay. Here on top of it. A little bit. In my thing. There we go. You don't have to be too precise, as I said. It's more like, you know, abstracty. And when it's finished, you can go over and put the black on top. But as, as now, you know where the black goes. Uh, I'm not receiving no comments, am I? I'm not seeing no comments at the moment. But um, now, you can tip this over a little bit if you want if you want to create more like little uh magic in there i'm going to go now i'm gonna grab again my yellow and i'm going to go over and just add a few more like little yellows but more like of um where it's gonna go okay so on the outside of this i need a few yellows and here and a few yellows so we need to brighten this up okay some little leaves yellow leaves we have fallen on the floor as well okay and then Now I need a bit of more yellow and I'm going to mix some orange with it, with here. Where's my orange? Or I could just put a little bit of this fantasy moon, which is really pretty. Mm. It's all going to come together once the black uh, like dries in there and I'll add some more on top to fix all this. Where's my black? Where did I put my black? My black is here somewhere? No, that's a gold. Black is here. Okay, there we go.
there we go now what i'm going to do a little bit of a line in here and i'm going to continue a little bit of a little bit of black like shadowing in here and maybe continue like here a little bit okay line in here and maybe just a bit of here a bit of shadowing kind of here there we go that's looking better <laughs> what you guys thinking cute I'm gonna grab the white. Where was my white? My white was here. No, this is gold. Ooh. Just a few little drops of white here and there as like little highlights. You know, them highlight things. Maybe this color. This is fantasy moon, but it will kind of mingle together. I don't need this. I need the white. The pure white, this one I need. Okay. Here and there, I'm gonna add a few little like touch ups of like little white of highlights. So maybe like here. Find. Yeah, and maybe right in here, a bit of white. Okay, that's cool. A couple drops of white in here. Ta -da! That is very cute. Now, if, if, is because the 3D paint wasn't dried like proper, proper, so that the black would mix a little bit, but it doesn't matter, because when the painting is finished, you can always get the black, like, on top, and put more black. I don't know, the lighting is a little bit wrong, isn't it? But from here, is the lighting, I don't know, is too bright? I don't know. How do I change it? Can you guys see better? If I change the lighting? No? I'm trying. I can't zoom it more than this. To be honest, I can't zoom it more than that. And it looks a little bit weird with my lighting. I have, I don't have space for my, uh, you know, line. Oh, hold on. If I put this. Do you think this is better? Yeah. That is okay. Okay, I'm going to put this in a side, on the side, and I'm going to let that dry. What I'm going to do now, because I have here, I'm going to grab a piece of paper, just in case my paint falls. And I'm just going to do a little pour. So this blue that I have, maybe I put, uh, maybe here. Okay. bit of blue. Because I don't want to waste that blue, do I? And because I have some, where was it? Maybe the darker, Fantasy Moon? Yeah, Fantasy Moon. I'm going to grab some Fantasy Moon in here. And I'm going to put a few drops of this Fantasy Moon. Yeah. So all you do, you twirl some Fantasy Moon. And you just mix like that. And you let the paint kind of interact with each other. And then I'm going to grab another layer. 
maybe this layer I'm going to, uh, I don't know which one. I'm just looking what other colors would be cute in here. Oh, purple. Purple would be lovely. I like the purple. So my purple is ceramic. I'm going to add some purple. Okay, a purple little line in here. That is so cute. You can't see it very well because it's purple, but uh, now when I add another color on top, you'll be able to see it because it's going to be interacting with each other. I'm going to put some fantasy prism so then you can see the effect of the prism. It's just playing about with paint, really. It's uh, nothing major. Maybe I kind of put this in here a bit further. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So maybe I get a little bit of this light moon. Okay, I'm gonna get some light moon. Let me clean my stick. I reuse the sticks. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, Lumpy. Okay. Maybe I put a tiny bit of a moon and I get a prism. I'm going to check which prism. I have to really, really mix this paint together. Okay, let me see if it's cute. Because I want more the interaction of the paint. This is not about like, oh, making something pretty, whatever. Because it's all going to be pretty once it's done. You just twirl it a little bit about. let it drip it doesn't matter now I have a little bit of paint on my red one which I did not want so all you do just grab it and it's gone I'm gonna grab this because I don't want any to spill on my red there we go and now I'm going to grab a tiny bit of a different color. I'm just gonna look what I have. Oh, green would be nice in there, couldn't it? No, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I need a prism. This is not a prism. Prism. Okay, this is prism. So you can see the effect of prism as well. Okay, so let's get the effect of prism. I'm gonna mix the prism right in here. So this is fantasy moon, and I'm going to mix a bit of uh, prism. We try with prism, probably. Maybe what is this? We try yellow, lemon. Hmm. Okay, who knows? Okay. So this is lemon, yellow, 
they're going to interact with each other and this is my prism which i'm mixing together i don't know any colors will do because i want you guys to just see how they interact with each other maybe i get another color maybe another prism uh if i can find one right in here is this prism oh okay this is lighter which is cool uh, okay <coughs> is that the same color no i think this is a bit lighter isn't it i think it's the same color to be honest let me see no, this is a bit lighter, one shade lighter. Okay, that's cute. I could, however, add a line of this. Grayish kind of onyx, onyx, it says. Okay, I'm gonna add that and then I'm gonna add another color on top. I don't know yet which. So, this is fantasy prism, just prism, and uh, not yet sure. Oh, some gold would be good, or some red, red. Which one is this? This is Betrial, Crimson Betrial. That's good. Let's see a bit of Crimson Betrial, how that's going to work. Okay, there we go. one day we will do pouring as well so you guys can see oh i like this maybe i'll add a little bit of here just to mix so you can see the effects okay there we go i don't want this particularly to pour out of here so what i'm going to do this is for the purpose of you guys seen how the colors interact with each other now look at the effect down here it's like marble look you can just drip it if you want or go like this look at that look look at like gold can you see and if i go this way I don't know. Do I want to drip it in purple? There you go. There we go. Okay. At this point, you can uh, wear some gloves, which is really good. <laughs> okay. Look at that. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to remove this. Yeah. This is going to get messy. It's going to get messy. Okay. We leave it here for the time being. I know that we can't like zoom it anymore. Is this zoom? No. No, I can't zoom it. How can I zoom it? It would have been really nice if I can zoom it. And I can't zoom this camera. Hold on a minute. How can I zoom? I wonder. Any of uh, my half steam is here to so let me know how to zoom. Because I mean, like uh, the light in here is a little bit bad. Okay. Okay. So this. 
it's still interacting, right? The colors are still interacting with each other. So you'll be, I mean, I could just drip it down or create how you want it. But if you can see, I don't know, can you see here? The effects, I don't know. Can you guys see? Let I'm going to drip it down. There we go. Maybe I, I, I create like the dripping effect. And you need the area that, you know, you don't mind getting messy. Because when I do this, you guys can see more effects. Look at that. This is just paper, by the way, that I have lots and I like kind of clean. There we go. I'm not seeing no okay, comments. Replay viewers, you can still follow, share, and retweet. Yes, indeed, you can. Okay, so there we go. Oh, now what I need, however, where is this lid? This lid belongs to something over here. What I need before I kind of, um, I wanted to take this off, this paper, just this layer, because I have many layers here, so it doesn't matter. I have many layers of this paper, and a lot of it is for me to just, you know, change. <laughs> okay, let's put this paper here. This is in here. Sorry, guys, we're cleaning up as we go along, but it's not that I'm cleaning up, I just want one layer of the paint of the paper. There we go. Okay, that is dirty. And um, yeah, so pretty much, I'm sorry that um, I can't be able to zoom really a lot because when I'm on OBS, I can zoom it right in, but um. Trust me, the effects are really, really, really pretty. Look at that. The effects are amazing, beautiful. Here it looks like gold. It's like, I don't know, a planet. Yes, like a different planet. Okay, I'll leave this here. I'm going to clean my hands a little bit. So this is how easy it is. I get a little bit of uh, odorless mineral spirit. And any place, I usually wear gloves. If I'm doing pouring, I would wear gloves. So that's the easiest option. Uh, I would suggest you wear vinyl gloves. And this was the little, you know, pour uh, we did. It's fine. You, you can't see them very well. But what I'm going to do, I can put a sample. I can put this because these are bad better uh, my stick fell. okay there we go so a sample so i can leave maybe i don't know uh maybe i can leave some of the samples in here there we go as an ending screen that would be always good there we go these are always cool there we go. Uh huh. What do you guys think of that? How cool is that? Yeah. How long have I been on? One hour thirty-five. Not bad. Not bad. And uh, yeah, we got here some more little paintings in here. So if I just, you know, ask you guys if you have any questions. Please do ask away um, in regards to mixed media. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast. I am going to check how it looks because on uh, uh, my uh, channel, on my Periscope, because this is the first day, and I wanted to test, first day that Hubs 
Active TV launch uh, the landscape mode, which is amazing, you know. And um, yeah, I wanted to test it and see how it all goes. And so far, so good. I am happy. I'm going to check how it looks on Perry because somebody suggested that it's not. But I know it is because when I went there, it was on landscape. And I think Lumpy said it is on landscape. Uh, so, yeah, I've done many, many, many paintings in, mix, in, in mixed media uh, during the years, which is awesome. And I love mixed media. So these are what you need. Some relief. You need some little cups, some sticks, some pipettes, uh, canvas or wood, anything you wish to paint on or metal or glass whatever you fancy there is a glass in here there we go so uh, anything you fancy and uh, just paint away you can pour you can paint first you can make something with your brush uh, you can use brushes you can use sun relief as an outliner what is this? What if I put this like that way? Do you think it's better? No, this way? I don't know. I'm kind of trying not to get the ring light on my paintings. <laughs> yeah? Is that the ring light not in my paintings? Is that light better? So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to end it here. The test is done. Thank you very much for being here with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Uh, if you are watching from Perry, thank you so much, Perry School viewers. If, I think I am on YouTube today as well. So if anybody watched from YouTube, hey, thanks guys for watching. And you can follow me on YouTube as well, Bobby Becker on Perry School, Bobby Becker everywhere, Twitch, Instagram, everywhere you'll find me as Bobby Becker. Uh, any questions or suggestions, what you want to see next, you can, uh, you know, just tweet me out. Say, hey, Bobby, can you do this kind of broadcast or whatever? Can you teach us how to paint this and that? Okay, I'm going to turn it this way probably because that is very annoying. Yeah, my ring light is like very, very bright, isn't it? He said, put it down a little bit. Okay, let me see. If I put it right down, okay, that's better. Okay, my loves, uh, have a great Saturday evening. Uh, thank you ever so much for joining my first ever stream on lots landscape mode on uh, hubs. Thank you, hubs, for making this available for us because I was really looking forward for you know the landscape so i can do my artworks and uh, it looks great i'm going to check replay if it does look great on all the other social uh, media platforms but this is amazing because you can multi-stream so that's why hops is great uh, and it's all for free so yeah thank you guys and have a good evening i shall see you tomorrow bye bye